travel to many towns in southern Germany, and you'll see statues and references to a man whose name is not well known. He wasn't even German, but Slovene. He was also a reformer, a Slovene reformer, who is honored in southern Germany for his commitment to the gospel. Primo Strubar was born in 1508 in what was once part of the Austrian Empire. Trained as a priest, he encountered the Reformation as a student and then began preaching the gospel as a Catholic priest for many years before being exiled to Germany. Slovenes are known for being passionately tied to their homeland. Instead of disappearing in exile, Trubar began writing books and working on behalf of his beloved Slovenes. And not only for Slovenes. Trubar founded the world's first Bible society in Bad Urach, translating works into multiple languages and alphabets. One German church leader even called Trubar the first European, a visionary who saw a need and did something about it. Trubar even enlisted the help of Orthodox and Catholic scholars to get the best translations possible, demonstrating an open-handedness and passion for Europeans that was remarkable for his era. Other reformers were theological innovators and movements bear their names. But Trubar focused on a simple, clear gospel. He worked with everyone and welcomed other viewpoints and issues not central to the gospel message. When he was called as a pastor to Kempton, near the German-Swiss border, the church was divided between Lutherans and Reformed. Trubar brought unity and gospel focus to a divided congregation. Throughout his life and work, he focused on what Christians have in common, so they could be more effective in mission. The armies of the Ottoman Empire were invading Europe. But the church didn't know what Muslims believe. Trubar secretly returned to Slovenia one final time. He interviewed a Bosnian general being held in Ljubljana castle over the course of one night, and then stole back to Germany. He informed the church that Muslims honor the biblical prophets. As people of the book, the best way to stop their incursion into Europe was not with a sword, but with the gospel. Trubar envisioned retaking the lands lost to the Turks, region by region, all the way to Constantinople. We could say much more about his loving partnership with his wife, his integrity with finances, and how he enabled the next generation to lead. As we research more and more about Trubar, we are finding ways to use him to create a platform for us evangelicals in our nominally Catholic culture. Truba was a truly exemplary man in every area of his life. Seeing a need and doing something about it. Gospel-focused unity and open-handedness for broader cooperation in mission a man with a heart for people who took specific steps to reach them, a man of character who let the gospel reform and transform him. God used Primoz Trubar in a later wave of the Reformation to transform others. Let's be inspired by this now known reformer, a man who exemplifies the fruit of the Reformation.